Well, anyway, here's my jammers that you was all asking about. Oh, they're cute. I love when they appear. And even the trousers have got all the characters all the way around. Woo Did you get dizzy off George? <laughs> I forgot to say, um... Oh, my thumb always gets in the way when I'm training hands. Come here. This little munchkin. Oh no, oh you're wanting your belly done. Turned eight on the 1st of January. That's what the, the day of birth the shelter gave us anyway, 1st of January. 2013. Yeah, you're cute, aren't you? So yeah, she's getting on. She's an old girl. Nah, no, she's not. Eight's not that old. She's still like a puppy. She, she see it when she goes to bed. She has like this weird ten minutes of attacking the quilt. I'm like, you're gonna rip me quilt cover one of these days, aren't you? Eh? You gonna rip me quilt cover? So I just had a pajama day today. It's the fifth of January today. So the tree has to come down because it's 12 days after. I need to shower my hair, so greasy. What? I love you too. Yeah, we thought we'd um, do 12 days before and 12 days after, like it's supposed to be. See if we get any better luck this year. So, I don't know if the lights outside will mess it up though because it's getting it's dark now so George is going to have to wait till tomorrow um, but we'll see we'll get the tree in that down just making bacon sandwiches it's like half four in the evening and we none of us have had anything to eat yet that's how lazy our day has been we've had a cup of coffee each and that's it so, my eyes watering. So, yeah, that's it for now. I haven't really done much. Went round and gave Abigail a birthday card yesterday. A bit so. But she wasn't in. Typical, typical teenager. Um, but last night at 8 o'clock it was announced another lockdown so this is our third one so everything's shut again no one's allowed to do anything and we'll see if it actually stops people this time because me and George were saying last night you never hear of China still having it it must be all gone because they did it properly they shut the borders and everything where you haven't done it properly here. How was it like in your country? Have they done it right in your country? Because you don't really hear of, of cases in America either, do you? But are you still in lockdown? I know from YouTube there's some that are still doing homeschooling, like, but we've just started homeschooling. That's how long it's took for our country to get its backside into gear. Because even though all the lockdowns have been happening, they're still sent them to school, so it was still spreading. So, we'll see. Right, I'll go and I'll see you during the week. Bye. Hi, world. Got our Christmas parcel from America, finally. It's been stuck in... Hello. What's that? It's been stuck in... Um, London for two weeks. Well, since 23rd, 21st or 23rd of December. So we finally got it. We got an early birthday card from Shirley, one of you lovely subscribers. A pair of earrings, which are really nice. The only thing is they've bent the, t the post. They've bent in the post, so I need to bend them back without snapping them. But aren't they nice? We've got a cute little dog. Hey Lexi, you clean the dog. So yeah, I'm 
I'll leave in the box open until George gets up. Because it's not up yet. It is like 10 to 1 in the afternoon. And he's not up yet. I just went to make bacon and egg sandwiches for breakfast. Well, lunch. I got one egg and no bread. So, um, that's not the question. So, I've got to think of something else to have now. Because our fridge is bare. I've got cheese and crackers. But, hey, I love you too. But that's it. So, oh, and we still didn't take the tree down. It's like, I don't even know what the date is today. It's Thursday, whatever date that is. So, yeah, we really need to get that tree taken down. I've even still got last year's calendar up on my bedroom wall because I've not even wrote the new one out yet. So, yeah, that's how much bad luck we're going to have this year. But, never mind. I'm going to go see if I can find something to eat. Thank you, Shirley, for the card and the present. The lovely. And I'll see you all later. Bye. Hi, George is finally up so I can get in the box. Got some crackers. Some sugar-free maple syrup. Which... The scent. Some buttermilk mix to, for pancakes. Then... Got some Bix mix and tins of sausage gravy, so that'd be nice to try. Um, oatmeal. I got, I got them to send it because we don't really have all them flavors. We have cinnamon and we have apple, and that's it. So got two boxes of them some fried apples George loves these he makes pies with them that's another one another sausage and gravy some summer sausage Apparently it's already cooked and you just put it on your crackers, so we'll try that. Never tried that before. Got some peanut butter little pouches. I like to keep them in the bedroom and have with an apple sometimes on a night. We got a couple of bagel seasoning. Apparently it was really nice, so I asked her to send me some, along with some bacon bits, ranch seasoning, we've got buffalo wild wing honey barbecue sauce, more bacon bits, more bacon bits. Apple butter, George loves this on his toast, and some teriyaki meat sticks, which I've never tried before. So that's everything we got. Also, I got some sugar free sweets for George, and I got some Cheetos, and the Aldi make Clancy's. And that's the Aldi make. So I've got a bag of each of them. So that's everything. Oh, and George got a tank, like build your own tank set that they sent him. So yeah, see you all later. Bye. Evening. Finally found something Lexi does not like. How about that? Peanut butter, white chocolate buttons, things for dogs. The, what we got in the dog basket that I got off his sister. Just tried it with them. She won't touch them. 
and so it's just that eggs but she's allergic to eggs anyway so she keeps away from them anyway but before we knew she was allergic to them she wouldn't I tried to scramble the eggs when she was ill once she wouldn't touch them so I'm a glass of steam because I just got out of the shower and I'm all hot and bothered and yes I forgot to shave never mind I've still got December 2020 calendar on I know I bet that's brought me bad luck I finally got the tree down today though so what are we on 7th of January finally got the tree down so I just made myself hot chocolate There's a coffee machine having it next to the bed it's gonna get me into serious trouble I had two hot chocolates not last night night before didn't have any last night but you only get half a cup anyway uh, try not to show me bits but yeah so and that's a small cup as well I tried for like filling it to the top because my I've got the testing mold machine downstairs and everything barcode so you just put it in switch it on and it fills your cup and switches off on its own well I found out the other night that the Dulce Gusto you switch on after you put the pod in but you got to switch it off yourself or else it just constantly drains hot water which I didn't know that and I nearly overflowed my cup and George was like oh this doesn't stop like this one downstairs so I realised then, hot chocolate was just too watery. And I was like, yeah, well, it's a full cup, yeah, but you can't taste hot chocolate in it. It tastes like warm water. So that was a disaster. So I've got my hot chocolate, got my bottle of soda water, and I'm ready for bed. So I'll see you all later. Bye. Oh, there's a dog coming up to bed as well. Hey, yeah, yeah, I've got rid of them. You don't have to put up with them on the bed. Well, because I got out of the shower, I thought she was, because she was smelling the the chocolate in my hand, I thought, oh, it's probably because of my body washing that. She's not liking the smell. So I put them on the bed and she still wouldn't eat them. So, yeah. I'm doing well, though. That box of Reese's chocolate that I got for Christmas, 7th of January, and I've... One, two, three, four out of eight packets left. So I think I've done pretty well on that. Probably because I just don't fancy it at the moment, like, as well. So, I well, saying that, one of the packets, George had half. He's never had it before. And he said that it's too sweet and sickly. He goes, no, you can have it. So, anyway, night. You know what? Just thought I'd put an end into my video so I can... Get it done. It's like 10 to 4 in the evening and I've had nothing to eat yet. We just had done our shopping so I got a pasta salad and a um, tub of cut melon to eat in the car because I was so hungry. And so at least that's done now. So once he's finished eating we'll get home and the worst part, putting the shopping away. I hate putting the shopping away. It just does my head in. So I'll see you all next week. Bye.